Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, guys, I'm going to be testing out the Claymore 14.7 with the dash straps. And I'm going to see if I can utilize Claymore to see if it'll affect other mining softwares while it's on. Okay? So we're going to see if we can get more hash rate while the dash strap is working with Claymore. I don't know if I explained that right, but I'm going to show you guys something uh, kind of interesting to see, to see if we can raise the hash rate a little bit more. So I'm going to be using a GTX 1070 uh, from Zotac. It is the AMP Edition 8GB card with Micron memory. Okay, so that's showing up on Tech Power Up. And let's see here and then you can see the stock wattage power consumption right now on the rig is about 32.5 watts okay so we are running a G3930 with uh, eight gig, uh, 4 gigs of RAM and the GTX 1070 okay so that out of the way we got MSI Afterburner just showing you guys the settings I'm gonna be using uh, we're using 75 power limit with uh, zero core clock and plus 700 uh, memory and I got the fan at 70% fan speed. Okay, so now I want to do a few different tests here, okay guys? So I'm going to get the base number first for the Claymore 14.7 with strap 1. So let's just go ahead and run that. And I'm going to show you guys the, uh, while that's coming up, while Claymore's starting up, I'll just show you guys the, uh, the batch file here. I'm just using the stock donation address from Claymore. And all I've added was dash strap one, okay? And as well, I added the, um, uh, the, uh, the folder, the folder, the file extension name here. So in order to run as administrator. Uh, make sure you have the quotations as well if you have any spaces uh, for your file structure. Okay, so now, as you guys can see, we're getting about on this GTX 1070 uh, 40, uh, 34.7, 34.8 mega hash. Okay, so we're mining Ethereum on here. So I'm just going to write that down, 34.8 uh, mega hash, I'm just going to say 34.7 mega hash. And it looks like it may be coming down after a little bit. So yeah, 34.7. Okay, now I'm going to now show you guys the stock hash rate for Phoenix Miner. Okay, I know some of you guys do like Phoenix Miner. Uh, I, know, I, know, I know some of you guys use Phoenix Miner. Uh, but let's just get the stock hash rate here for Phoenix Miner. So as that's coming up, uh, I haven't added anything to the to the batch file. I'm just using whatever the stock Phoenix Miner is right now. I believe this is the uh, Phoenix Miner donation address. And you can see here, whew, we're getting 40 mega hash. Wow. No, it's it's coming back down. It's gonna come back down uh, to like 30. 31 mega hash yeah 32 for 32.4 that, that looks about right yeah so 32.4 um, with Phoenix miner okay so that's this the stock hash rate 32.4 mega hash okay now I'm gonna close that we're gonna test now I'm gonna show you guys how how I'm going to be running Claymore and Phoenix Miner at the same time. Okay, so let me just go ahead, get this going. Okay, so the difference here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pressing zero to disable the card after the straps have been applied. So you guys can see GPU zero, strap one is applied successfully. And I'm just going to get it to mine just a little bit, just to show the mega hash. So after it creates the DAG. And it's showing 34.8. Okay, great. So now I'm just going to press 0 on my keyboard. And you guys can see that the my GPU 0 mining is disabled. Okay, so perfect. Leave it running. Don't close this window. We're going to open up Phoenix Miner. 
Okay, so we, we basically have both we have both running, okay? I'm just gonna minimize afterburner. You guys you guys saw the setting. Se 700 plus memory, zero core, 75 power limit, 70% fan speed. I'm gonna minimize that. Okay, so you can yeah, you guys can see Claymore and Phoenix Miners running now. And we're just gonna see what mega hash we're gonna get now with Phoenix Miner and Claymore. Oh I spelled Phoenix Miner wrong here. There we go. Okay. Wow. 42 mega hash. Wow, that's crazy. No, that's 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 it's gonna it's gonna come down. Okay, so 36.4. So we're getting 32.4 stock without Claymore, but with Claymore we're getting 34.8. So it looks like the strap is still, you know, injected into the into the video card. So it looks like it's it's still it's still able to use that strap with Phoenix Miner. Uh, so 34.8 guys. So look at that. Uh, 34.8 mega hash. I'm just gonna write that there. So pretty much the same mega hash on Claymore. I think Claymore we're getting 37 uh, 34.7. But with Phoenix Miner, we're getting 34.8, so that's <laughs> that's that's a little bit a little bit better a little bit better. But it, it's interesting to see that we're able to use the Claymore's uh, injected strap uh, with Phoenix Miner. So, okay, so that test is over. Just showcasing you guys. You guys can get a little bit more Mega Hash if you're a fan of Phoenix Miner, or uh, you don't want to use Claymore, but you can use Claymore and then disable the GPU. Uh, just by pressing zero on the keyboard or depending on if you have six video cards or eight video cards you have to go uh, zero one two three four five six seven uh, depending on how many cards you have just to disable all the cards um, okay so I'm gonna close Phoenix Miner now you guys can see the hash rate still going um, okay I'm gonna leave I'm gonna close everything now close Claymore close Phoenix Miner I want to try, uh, let's try G minor. I want to see if we can do other algorithms here, but just as a quick test, we're just going to, we're going to see what we get on this GTX 1070 on uh, mining Aeon. Okay. So we're just going to just, we're just going to figure out the stock hash rate and see if the Claymore straps will do anything um, on like other algorithms, uh, Aeon for example. So let's just wait for the uh, hash rate here for Aeon for stock, and then we'll write that down. Um, I actually don't know the command. Is it H or S? No, that uh, these keys don't work. Okay, so I just have to wait for it to come up. All right, so we're getting 227 souls per second. 227 souls per second on uh, stock. Okay, so 227 souls. Sorry, it, not stock. It's already my my cards undervolted, overclocked. But uh, stock, I mean, is without claymore. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for one more um, share here. Uh, not share, but the uh, hash rates. Okay, yeah. So two 227, 224 souls. All right, so I'm gonna close that. We are going to now open up uh, Claymore. Let's do that. So we get the straps going. 14.7 here, just to just to get uh, just to be able to disable the uh, GPU while the strap is injected. Okay. So strap one is applied. Setting the DAG. Gonna wait for that. And then we'll disable the GPU by pressing zero afterwards. Okay, DAG is done. Okay, 34.7. I'm gonna hit zero on the keyboard. GPU uh, mining is disabled. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up G Miner. G Miner uh, 1.53 Aeon. So we got the base one for Aeon already, which was 227 souls. Okay, so it's coming up here. Running about 200 watts now. Or stock idle was 30 or 40 watts. Yeah. Okay, so now the hash rate should be coming up real soon here. Pressing S or H doesn't come up. I tried all the keys. There's no there's no G minor short command to open up the uh, hash rates here. 
Okay, so there we go. 232 souls per second. It looks like we've gained, I mean, not a significant amount, but, you know. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to write that down. So about, what, five souls? We've gained an extra five souls um, with the Claymore strap injected. Let's just wait for another uh, number here. Ah, uh, no, it's the same. 227. Yeah. Okay. So my think my thought process here is that since Aeon and a lot of the other algorithms are are core dependent and because of these memory straps, uh, the memory straps that Claymore injects, it's for memory, right? Uh, not for the core of the card. So um that's probably why we're not seeing a huge difference. Yeah, we're not we're not seeing okay, 232 souls. Um, it went up a little bit. In my other testing, I did see it go up about five to ten souls with the straps injected. So, you know, results may vary, guys, depending on your card and testing and that kind of stuff. Tr tr give it a try, guys. If you guys are interested, you know, uh, even you don't have to use G minor, but um, once you have the Claymore 14.7 running and disabled, the GPU is disabled and the 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 the, the file window the, the file window running, you can go ahead and try it on any other mining software you guys have, and just see if you're able to get a little bit more you know more oomph no more hash rate out of them. Um, so oh it looks like it dropped off considerably now 219. Um, anyways guys, let me know let me know what you guys think about this testing and uh, we did see a significant difference on Phoenix Miner utilizing the Claymore strap so the injection there so let me know what you guys think it was a little fun video to do for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video let me know if there's something else I can test out and uh, I can make another video about it have a good one guys have a good day smash the like button all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out